Have you been wondering if the COVID-19 protocols have made a mess of the lift lines this year at Whistler Blackcomb? In this video, I'll take you up the mountain to see what the heck is going on. Hi guys, Dean Linnell here with the Linnell Group at the Whistler Real Estate Company. And let's jump right in. I'm down at the base of Whistler and I found that you have to begin lining up at around 7.30 to 7.45 a.m. to go up Blackcomb on the Excalibur gondola or go up Whistler on the Village gondola or up Fitzsimmons chair, which is right behind me. Whistler Blackcomb has been typically cracking all three lifts open at around 8 a.m. Once the lifts open up, the lines move pretty quickly and I've found that I'm generally on the lift within 10 to 15 minutes at most. However, all bets are off when it's a powder morning or really stormy. This mainly happens due to the weather since the lifts don't open right away as Ski Patrol works to ensure the mid-mountain emerald, red and jersey cream zones are safe. If you're a bit of a late riser, I'm finding that if you show up past around 9 or 10 a.m., you're totally good to go with minimal lines up both mountains from the village, but of course, you're going to miss out on those fresh tracks. Then once you're up on the mountain in those zones below the Alpine, you end up with some decent congestion on a busy day, where you might be waiting maybe 20 to 30 minutes on Whistler at Emerald, Red and Garbanzo chairs, and also on Blackcomb at Jersey Cream. However, you'll find that once Ski Patrol opens up the Alpine with the T-Bars, Peak Chair, Harmony, Crystal, Glacier Express, and 7th Heaven, then mid-mountain congestion clears out as the crowds spread across both mountains. And I have to say, what a super job the Ski Patrol, Lift Ops, and the groomers have been doing to get the high Alpine open and mitigate that lift line crowding. Now in the lift lines, there's usually Whistler Blackcomb staff reminding people to keep your mask or buff up above your nose, and everyone seems pretty good about making sure that happens. And because of the length of your skis or board, you're generally the recommended six feet apart from the person ahead or behind you. So the physical distancing side of things is well handled too. So are the lines a pain in the ass? Yeah, maybe a little, but you have to realize that with just a bit of patience, skiing and riding at Whistler Blackcomb this year isn't a whole lot different than any other year. And at least we aren't completely shut down and are still able to play and slide in the mountains. If you want to check out how the COVID protocols are affecting dining and chairlift riding on Whistler Blackcomb, then click over to the right. My name is Dean Linnell with the Linnell Group at the Whistler Real Estate Company and my contact details are in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next video.